SOLIDWORKS 2012 introduces a brand new tool for quickly accessing large assemblies on moderate hardware called Large Design Review. We can access Large Design Review by going to the open dialog box and clicking on the pull down Large Design Review and open. Now Large Design Review replaces the quick view selective open capability of previous versions of SOLIDWORKS. Now as with the quick view Large Design Review allows users to open our assemblies very quickly as if they were working with an individual part. Now all our standard view commands are available such as pan, zoom in, zoom out, rotate, just in a normal way that you'd access any large part or moderate assembly. Other things that are available to us is the ability to hide and show individual components or groups of components and in this case we're just going to grab a few components, right click and hide them. Other areas that might be of interest to us we can actually use the isolate command so if we just right click and isolate that, hide everything else and just exit the isolate to get back to our full or complete assembly. Other areas as well that are available to us, uh, as users who work with large assemblies will have already found out, walkthroughs is a great way to get an overall understanding of our large assemblies and layout of all the individual components or structures etc. We already have one created here so I'm just going to activate this particular walkthrough and we're just going to play this just to give you an idea of being able to walk through the structure of our uh, assembly that you can see on the screen. Okay, well we've seen enough of that just to see how it works. The other thing that's available to us is a new feature called Snapshots. Now Snapshots is the ability to take a predefined view and actually be able to access it at any time. We can also add comments to these views as you can see from this as I hover over them you can see all the comments that have been easily added and we can just double click them to activate the individual snapshots. So I'm going to go to this diverter area here. Now again if I hover over the snapshot you'll see that there is a comment there about please check clearance between the diverter valve and the gate housing. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to click on this particular face here and just add the section view and we'll just accept this and what this is going to allow us now is to see this area that it was referring to and it's the bolt and this particular web here on the actual pump itself. Now I have got the ability to measure so I'm just going to click on that particular face and we'll click on that edge there that just tells us we've got a, a value there of just over 21 millimeters which is not enough to actually or withdraw that bolt or actually access it. So what we're going to do is exit our section view and I'm just going to click on our sub-assembly and we're going to open up our assembly directly from large design review. Now we know that we have to make some design change here so I'm just going to click on our particular component and it's this 15 millimeters here. I'm just going to change and make that to be 90 and we'll just do a quick rebuild and we'll update that particular component. As you can see the, uh, the bracket has actually changed based on the values that we've entered and all I'm going to do now is actually just save that and we'll just exit and we'll just uh, drop back into our large design review to see if those changes have been reflected. As you can see our large design review has actually uh, updated with the changes required and we can now go on and uh, make any other changes that are necessary. So hopefully from this you can see what a great tool large design review is going to be for those customers or users who are daily working with large assemblies and having to struggle with moderate hardware.